All right, so someone asked me to show them how to do a really simple loose bind off. And uh, although I don't know the technical name of this, I'm definitely not the one who invented it. It's knit one, knit two, and then SSK. So I've got a sample here where I have a rib where knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, or just plain stocking stitch, just to show how the bind off would work on uh, both of these. Uh, different styles. I love this bind off. It's really easy to remember. It's pretty consistent in in, um, in its knitted result and it's got a little bit of a decorative edge. So for sure I recommend it and uh, yeah it's elastic so it, it's it's never too tight. So if I'm doing it on a knit to purl to rib I'm going to knit the stitches as I see them. So for example that's a knit a knit, a purl, a purl, a knit, a knit, so on and so forth. So I'm going to knit my knit stitches and purl my purl stitches as I come to them. So I have to start with knit two because that's what I have. So I'm going to knit one, knit two. And instead of doing the usual bind off, which is bringing this stitch over and casting it off or binding it off, I'm going to come with my left needle, put it through both stitches, and I'm going to keep my right needle in the back of this left needle and I'm going to knit those two stitches together. Usually that's known as an SSK slip slip knit, but here I'm not slipping them, I'm actually knitting them. Now my next stitch showing is a purl. So I'm going to bring my yarn forward, purl, bring my yarn back and then I'm going to do that knit stitch, knit, knitting the two together through the back loop. Next stitch is a purl. I bring my yarn forward. I purl. I always have to have two stitches on my right hand needle and I'm not bringing one loop over the other one. I'm knitting both of them together through the back loop as such. Now I have a knit stitch, so I just knit and then knit the two together through the back loop. And you can see it's a pretty nice, like a braided edge. It's nice and decorative um, on both sides. It looks really good. So I'm just going to continue on until I get to my stocking stitch side. And I'm sure you can already guess what you need to do. So the purl, I purl it, bring my yarn back and then knit the two stitches together through the back loop. Bring my yarn forward, purl, yarn back, knit the two stitches together through the back loop. And then knit and knit two together through the back loop. It's pretty straightforward and it's, like I say, it's an easy enough um, stitch to remember and elastic enough for, um, for socks or a hat or anything really that you're doing. You can already see how much wider it is and it's got a lot of gift to it. So it's not going to hold you back on, on the elasticity of your project. So let's say it's all stocking stitch. Well, you guessed it, you just knit and then knit the two together through the back loop and you knit all the stitches. And it's that simple. Sometimes as you get faster and better at this, you knit it, you barely take it off and this needle is already going in. So it ends up being a fairly quick bind off that's elastic and pretty. So I'll show you what they both look like on a stocking stitch edge and a rib edge in just one second. And of course, on that last stitch, always, 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 you're going to cut your yarn I don't have scissors right here, but cut your yarn and bring the loop, bring it through and fasten it off. And there you go. 
It looks like a braid on the top, which is nice. On the edge, it gives you like a nice clean line on the right side. And this is what it looks like on the wrong side. So it's a very nice, simple, elastic bind off.